Hello dear students and welcome to this online class video. This is the fourth part of seventh chapter. Can you see the pattern of class five subject mathematics? And I am Jayaprakash. Let's start the class. Now come to today's topic. So I have taken very important topics for today's class. So first is numbers and numbers, and second is palindromes. So let's know what are these. Now come to first topic, numbers and numbers. So here we have. Some shapes, star, pentagons, square, and it is not filled. So let me fill this first. So in star we have a number that is twenty-four. In pentagon we have number that is nineteen, and in square we have thirty-seven. Similarly, in square we have thirty-seven. In star we have twenty-four, and uh, in pentagon we have nineteen, and we have plus symbols between these shapes. Similarly. Bottom side we have 215 in oval. Uh, in square we have 120, and in rectangle we have 600, and it is added. Similarly, on the right side we have a rectangle, and the number will be 600 there. Next we have 215, and the last is 120, and it is also added. Now, what you are observing? Yes, just look at the left side. Come to the first and look at the first side. We have twenty-four plus nineteen plus thirty-seven. Okay, equal to it makes eighty. Clear. Similarly, right side we have thirty-seven plus twenty-four plus nineteen, and their sum is also eighty. Okay, here you can see their sum is same, and also the numbers are same. Twenty-four, twenty-four. We have nineteen, nineteen. And 37, we have 37. In this way, both side means LHS left hand side, and also right hand side is equal. Now come to the second one. We have on the left side we have 215 plus 120 plus 600, and their sum is 935. Similarly, the same numbers we have on the right side 600 plus 215 plus 120, and their sum is also 935. Okay, you don't need to find their sum. Just observe properly. We have 215 left side, so right side we have 215. Left side we have 120, so right side we have once again 120 and 600 and 600 we have on both side. So in this way, LHS means left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now come to some questions. Are they equal? So yes, they both are equal. Now. Fill in the blanks spaces in the same way. Okay, the same rule we have to apply here. Come to first. Here we have in star forty. Okay, now here we have blank and another blank. So in a square we have thirty four and in a circle we have twenty. Fourteen is taken out. Okay, from the both side. Now which numbers are remaining? Yes. So here we have thirty uh, four here. So let me make a, a box here. For thirty-four and write here thirty-four. Now a circle you we can make and we can write here twenty. Clear? Now come to the second. Uh, on the left side we have forty-two. Okay, and it is blank. Two blank spaces we have. Now right side we have sixty-five plus dash means blank and another number is eighty. So and here we have a symbol of equal to. It is showing that both sides means left side and right sides are equal. So we have to use same numbers. So first here we have sixty five, and at last we have eighty. Uh, so write here eighty, or you can write sixty five. Anywhere you can write, and you can write here sixty five. So in this way it is completed. Now come to next two questions. Here we have two hundred plus three hundred plus blank. Now on the right side, dash. Uh, blank plus four hundred plus blank. So here we have four hundred, and it is showing that both sides are equal. So it means we can write here four hundred. And uh, in the first place of right side here we can write three hundred, or you can write also two hundred. And at last we can write here two hundred. In this way it will be completed. Now come to the next D number. Uh, here is completely it is completely blank. Means first, second, third, and similarly. On the right side, it is also blank. Means first, second, third, both sides blank. Means we can we use uh, our numbers. For example, let me take a numbers like seven uh, hundred 
plus uh, 200 plus uh, 100 okay so similarly I can use here 100 plus 200 plus 700 means you can see the numbers are same and we can say LHS is equal to RHS now it was the rule using the uh, plus symbols means in addition we use this rule now in multiplication also we can use this rule how look at here 48 multiplied by uh, 30 okay so what is their product their product will be 624 similarly we have equal to symbol means on the right side we have once again 13 into 48 and their product is also 624 so we can say means left side is equal to right side no doubt now come to topic 2 left right same to same actually it is based on yes palindromes now we will understand what is palindromes so here is an activity let's do it first the girl is saying that can you see something special about 121 so what is special the boy is replying what is it's just a number so the girl is saying see it is the same forward as well as backward means the girl is saying that 1 to 1 means if you will read this number from the first number means that that is one so in forwarding way it is 100 1 to 1 means 121 and from the backward okay from the back side it is also 1 to 1 means 121 okay so now the boy is saying oh yes it is 1 to 1 from the right side to left also so this type of rule is known as palindromes it means if a number okay or any word is read a uh, same from the both ways means from forward from backward okay so that is known as palindromes remember it now let's have some questions based on this so okay come let's see how to get such numbers okay so take a number say 43 okay we have taken 43 now turn it back to front so 43 if you are writing 43 okay so in forwarding way 4 3 4 will come first but in backward 3 will come first and 4 you can write after 3 so it will be 34 so here it is taken 34 now then add them together so we will get 77 yes the, their sum is 77 so 77 is one such special number there are many such numbers okay so 77 is a special number so the crow is saying that uh, you have re reversed the number by writing it back in uh, back to front okay we have done it also now let's take another one uh, take another number 48 okay uh, now turn it back to front so it will be 84 now their sum it will be 132 so is this a number special so this number will be special in which condition when it will be a palindrome so let's see it is a palindrome or not so read this number first 132 okay in forwarding way we are reading 132 okay but in backward if you will start the number to read from back side so it will be 231 so it is not read same from the both sides so it is not a special number so we have to make it special how can we make it once again let's take this number 132 we have taken and uh, turn it back to the front so it will be read as 231 now find their sum so the sum is 363 okay 363 so in forwarding way if you will read this number so it will read as 363 now from the back side if you will read so it will also read as 363 now you can say that it is a palindrome means it is a special number now so we see here to get special numbers we sometimes need more steps yes we have to do some more steps to get the uh, special numbers now uh, let's try to uh, now you try and change these numbers into special numbers okay so here we have 28 so 28 we have to make a special number so in a forwarding way uh, we are taking 28 now in backward means from the back side if you will take this number so it will be read as 8 then 2 so find their sum 8 plus 2 it is 0 here now 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 11 1 1 10 we got 1 1 10 means 110 so read it 
is it a palindrome no it's not because uh, from the front side it is read as 110 and from the back side it is read as 011 so it is not so we have to make it special once again so for that let me zoom it first 110 so just read this number means from the back side so it will be 0 1 and 1 now find their sum now 0 plus 1 it is 1 One plus one, it is two, and one plus zero, one. So now we got one to one. So read this number from front side. So one to one, and from the back side, one to one. So yes, now one to one is a special number. Now come to second. So second number is one hundred thirty-two. So let's make this number special. One hundred thirty-two. So from the front side, it is read as one three two. Now from the back side, it is it will be read as two three one. Now find their sum. So their sum will be two plus one. It is three. Three plus three. It is uh, six. Now one plus two. It is three. So three six three. If you read this number from uh, as forwarding way, so you will read as three six three. And from the back, it is also read as three six three. So yes, it is a special number. We have made it. Now next number is two seven three. So let's make it special. Two seven three. So, from the front side means in forwarding way you will read as two seven three. Now, from the back side it will read as three seven and two. Now find their sum. So three plus two it is five. Seven plus seven fourteen. So write here four one will be carried. And three plus two five plus one six. Now is this a palindrome? No. So once again take this number means uh, six four five we have taken. Now. Uh, Uh, just read this number from the back side so it will be read as 5 4 then 6 so find the sum uh, now find the sum so 5 plus 6 we are adding this number okay so 6 plus 5 it is 11 1 will be carried 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 9 so write here 9 and uh, 6 plus 5 it is 11 1 1 is this a palindrome no 1 1 9 is not a palindrome because In forwarding way, it is read as one one nine one, but from the back side, it is read as one nine one one. So once again, we have to find its back number. Means from the back side, we have to read this number. So it will be read as one, then nine, then one and one. Now find the sum. One plus one, it is two. Nine plus one, it is ten. So write here zero. One will be carried here. Now nine plus one, ten plus one, eleven. Write here one, and one will be also carried here. So one plus one, two plus one, three. So three one zero two. Once again, it is not a palindrome. So same thing we have to do. Find its uh, uh, back number means just read this number from the back side. So it will be read as two zero uh, two zero one and then three. Now find the sum. Once again, three plus two it is five. One plus zero it is one. Uh, one plus zero once again it is one. And three plus two five. So we got. Five one one five. Now tell me, is it a palindrome? Yes, because from the in a forwarding way it is read as five one one five, and from the back side also it is read as five one one five. So yes, we used some more steps to get this special number, but we got it. Now let's know some special words. I mean, I am talking about palindrome words. So here is the first word. The first word in a forwarding way we are reading as no. Lemons, no melon. So from the back side, it will be read as N O no. Okay, L E M O N. So no lemon and S no lemons. Now N O no M E L O N. So once again, it is read as no uh, melon, uh, no lemons, no melon. Okay, so it is a special word means palindrome word. It is now next word is. Step not on pads. Okay, in a forwarding way, we are reading like this. Now, from the back side, we will read this as S T E P. So step, then N O T. Step not, then O N O P E T S. Pads. So yes, these words are palindromes. Now let's know some other palindrome words. So other palindrome words are first is I E Y E. Okay. Next we can write noon and double o n yes and uh, next one we can write uh, level so these are some special words 
okay means palindrome words uh, which can be read same as from the both side so if there are some other words or other numbers so you can write in the comment box dear students you are most welcome and now in this way our class is going to over so at last i want to say if you have any doubt from the any topic so you can write your question in the comment comment box i will definitely try to answer that and now that's all for today's class so see you all in the next video till then be safe be healthy jai hind